going to be talking about the comparison between um, a seed becoming a flower and a growing Christian. So all of us start out as seeds ready to grow. Plants need soil, water, and sunlight. And Christians, the first step that you need to take when you're growing as a Christian is to ask yourself if you're really saved and if you're convinced that Jesus suffered on the cross for your sins and rose again three days later. This would be comparison to the seed being planted in the soil. In Romans chapter 10 verse 9 it says, if you confess with your sins, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart and for with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Um, without salvation as a Christian, um, it we can't really grow any further without salvation because it's the first step. Um, the second step would be to read the word daily. Um, it would be in comparison to watering a seed every single day. Um, the word helps us to know God, his history, and the thing, the wonderful things that he's done to pass in the past with groups like the Exodus or with saving people with Jesus. In Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 it says, keep this book of the law always on your lips, meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Um, the third step would be to pray to God. Um, there are different types of praying to God. Um, we shouldn't just pray to Him for requests that we need, like, oh God, I need this problem with that, which is also good, but we should also thank Him for everything He's given to us, because every single day, our life, our, every single breath that we breathe is a gift from God. And the simple things like food, clothes, shelter, those are things that a lot of people in this world don't have, and we should always be thankful that God has provided us with all these things. In 1 Thessalonians 5.18, it says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will in you, in Christ Jesus. Another way to pray would also be to repent, because when you're repenting to God, you're asking him to forgive of all your sins, and that's very important because in Revelation chapter 2, verse 5, it says, If you do not repent, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place. Um, basically, it means that if you don't repent to God and ask him to forgive you, your light will go out and there's you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Um, also, when you're repenting, you should ask the people who you've hurt or if you've lied to anyone that you should also repent to them because, I mean, you should also ask forgiveness from them because um, it's like taking it seriously that you really are sorry and that you really do mean it and God will just um, see that you really are repenting. Um, lastly, um, plants provide ox oxygen for all of us humans. So in the same way, we should help others to spread the word of God and um, bring more people into his kingdom. In 2 Timothy 4, chapter 4, verse 2, it says, Preach the word, be prepared in season and out of season, correct, rebuke, and encourage with great pleasure and careful instruction. So we should always like tell people about God and everything, because when we go to God, we would want the same people that we saw here to be in heaven and not in hell. Um, once a fully grown seed has become a flower, it is produced and produces others, other flowers and helps others at the same time. So we should do that once we become a fully grown Christian. We should help others and produce other <coughs> Christians and help them and always pray to God. Um, and in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11, it says, When I was a child, I understood as a child. I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away all childish things. So when we're a fully grown Christian, we understand God, we know who He is, we have a relationship with Him, we pray to Him all the time, we thank Him, we repent of our sins, and we really know that He's our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So thank you for giving me this.